Joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, is another man we're incredibly proud of. Not only because he put a company on his back for a long time and he came sprinting to the ring with it right there on his back, but now that he's transferred into Hollywood, he's become, for shoot, one of the best actors in Hollywood. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Cole's goat, Ricky Stanicki. Ladies and gentlemen, the man who came out and helped Cody Rhodes win the WWE Championship last night, John Cena. Yeah! 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 WWE The World, thank you for joining us. Thank you, everyone. How is everyone today? Yeah. Pat McAfee, how are you, sir? I'm fantastic. You know, the biggest WrestleMania of all time had a uh, a John Cena surprise Ooh. appearance. Yes. Nice surprise. Oh, wow. Cena, Cena. Wow, you can hear the energy and the excitement here at the convention center. Pat McAfee crew, how is everyone? Fantastic, John. All right, uh, guys, I'm not wearing headphones, so you might have to talk a little bit loud, but I wanted to be in the element. I wanted to yeah. hear and uh, experience the sound and the excitement of the tail end of WrestleMania week. WWE World, you're ruining the brand. WWE World, yeah. WWE The World. The though. World, WWE The World. That might Ooh. be the next name. Yeah. Uh, Includes Saturday. Uranus. No, that would be the universe. Solar Eclipse today, if we're going to start talking about this. <laughs> right. Solar Eclipse, let's make sure we're looking up at the moon, blocking the sun. It should be a good day, but don't, hey, it was great. I mean, look up at it with the proper equipment. Don't just look up at it. Thank you, John Cena. Because yep. yeah. you won't be Boom. able to see me oh, or anyone else. Yeah, you can't see yeah, just, let's, Safety first. <laughs> safety first out there. Uh, last night, I see you make that 55-yard sprint. Oh, it was an unorthodox jog, but yes, I made it. <laughs> you made it. You looked phenomenal. Don't trip. How did good? How good did it feel to get back in there? And, oh, uh, how how good does it feel to run down the ramp at WrestleMania in front of a crazy group of fans like this? Spectacular. You, I mean, you get to go out there every night, and you get to you get the best seat in the house to call all the action. We we share the same moments. We share the same love for the business. We share the same love for WWE. So. Uh, yeah, it, it, it felt great. You coming out and helping Cody. Yeah. Same with the dead man, Undertaker, uh -huh. coming yep. out. And if you listen to what Miz said earlier, Miz was like, hey, Undertaker has always been known as the leader. Of the Look at you. You're moving, dude. Uh, You're that's, moving. That's a lot of camera tricks right there. No. Oh, we saw it. That's no. a lot of sports four, four uh, entertainment. Right there. Look, that's a long sprint. That's a hamstring <laughs> or two yeah. rating, especially with how chilly it was. You look damn good, and obviously you came in and Little attitude adjustment for the Tribal Chief. Oh. Hey, the bloodline set the table, man. They said uh, anything goes, so I just happened to make it on time, and anything goes, you know? Yeah, and obviously the Spanish announce desk got cleared off uh, because yeah, we had some. No, there is no way that that can stand to WrestleMania and not be broken. And I saw that it wasn't broken. Oh, oh man. Put a body through it. it. <laughs> Clean. <laughs> Let's put a body through it. Uh, but Miz talked about how The Undertaker comes out to help. Cody Rhodes, and that's like the leader of the locker room for so long, so him being a part of it is a huge deal, obviously stamping a new era. You coming out and helping, especially because Cody, big baby face, obviously, you coming out is like the dawning of a, coming to help a new era. Is that how you saw it? Is that how you feel? And So the great thing about WWE, right, is we can all speculate on, on everything it means, and we all have our own opinion. If anyone more, knows more about that than me, I, I'd be hard pressed to find that individual because for 20 years, <laughs> I've run down that ramp to a very mixed response. I understand that the audience is allowed to have their own opinion and we're allowed to speculate on what this could mean. If, if you know anything about me, you know that I try to, I wear my values on my sleeve. Words like never give up, hustle, loyalty, and respect. And I always want a fair chance. That's it. So in the biggest event of the year, with our most important prize on the line, I am just an advocate for a fair chance. Okay. You know I'm a huge fan of Cody Rhodes, but you also know I'm a huge fan of Roman Reigns. I believe Roman Reigns is the greatest of all time. Okay. Again, 
again, what's great about WWE is you can have your opinion and you can voice yours, and I think that's fantastic. Will, Co will Cody Rhodes be the greatest of all time? He's put himself in a good position. They're saying you're the GOAT, pal. What is that? They're saying you're, you're. The, you're the GOAT. This is a barn. You're the GOAT. Oh, Mike. Me on. <laughs> Wow. That's more of a donkey. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. That's more like a jackass. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's, that's more me. That's yeah. more me. No, no. First of all, thank you so much. Because I, I, I know you don't just do that for anybody, so thank you. It means the world. Thank you. But to your point there, you were saying, is Cody Rhodes going to be the greatest of all time? We'll find out. TV. Yeah, and that does. That's what you get when you do a live show, man. Hey, this is what you get when you bust your ass for decades, bro. Thank you. So going going back to what I said about Roman Reigns, uh, that doesn't mean that Cody Rhodes cannot be the greatest of all time. I just want people to understand that. I think what's been done so far, you have to put Roman Reigns in that slot, but Cody's Cody's story set, you know, the whole the whole theme of WrestleMania was finishing the story. His story starts today. I, t I told him in the ring last night, and I'm sure he'll be able to relay this same message. When I got to embrace him, I s he had the championship in his right hand, and I said, do you feel that? He said, yes. I said, do you feel how heavy it is? He said, yes. I said, it will get heavier every day. Oh, that's deep. Because that is the burden you bear of trying to craft the path to being the greatest of all time. I hope, I hope, and this is, should be the goal for the business, every performer should pass the torch up. So I hope a year from now, two years from now, three years from now, we can all sit here and be an advocate that Cody Rhodes is the greatest of all time, because that's the way it should work. Awesome. You're speaking from a man who has obviously been there, done that, getting go chance, so obviously you should be taken seriously, but wrestling fans are obviously going to be pissed about something you said in there. I love it. Something That's you said the in there. That's the beauty of what we do, man. It is, it is not universally accepted. What is universally accepted is the passion, is the oh. energy, is the heartbeat. We all come together over this, and we all share our opinions loud and vocal, and everyone in the WWE, both talent, production, and audience alike, knows that we are superstars, and that you are super yeah, strong. character. Yeah. Yeah. You. 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 And you. With, you. Without, you. without you, you. I'm, I'm just a dude in jean shorts, a ball cap, and a t-shirt. And kicking ass. Hell yeah. yeah. And oh, kicking ass in the middle of the ring. Yeah. Without them, I'm not. Yeah, but they could be no people in their COVID. Anyways, oh, AJ's got and, a question. And sidebar, I know they were busting your ass about wearing the same t-shirt as last you. night. I'm also wearing the same t-shirt as last oh. night. So we're good. Me and John C. You and I, we're good. Of course. Right, you guys are basically twins. John, I wanted to uh, ask you about your life outside the ring. Yeah, let this go. You need to soak it up. They don't get it, John. They don't get it. I'll, I'll change my shirt, but you guys know that comes with a uniform change. So uh, last night wasn't my last night, so this doesn't mean this is my last uniform. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's that mean? We're just throwing. A, that means that uh, I've, I've speculated a lot about when it is that I hang up the jorts, but uh, it is. It wasn't last night, and I still got. I still got a little bit of rubber left on the top. Wow! wow. That feels big. I don't want to bogart your question. Let's get, <laughs> get down to brass. Now that just turned that's into big. my question. Hey, that's breaking news there. Yeah, yeah. that's nuts. Hey, yeah, yeah. baby John. Good we to can, see we you. can lean into that. We Have you been feeling that, that for a while? Did last night reignite that that fire, that passion? Why is it so tough to, to say like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna put this down. I'm gonna put this away for a while, where I'm not going so, to wrestle. Uh, so it's not tough because of the foundation I laid and the promise I made to each and every person who pays attention and gives of themselves to WWE. When I feel I can no longer perform at the capacity of the product, it is time to step away. That's not that's not tough. The toughest thing is that I love it so much, uh, and you can still do it at a high level. Uh, yeah. So when that when that time is gone, that means that it's done. I'm I'm actively trying to craft that path right now. So uh, I, I've I've put a line in the sand of myself for for 50, and I honestly think it's going to be before that. Uh, there's your breaking news. Oh, hold it, hold it. Uh, I'll be 47 in a few weeks. Oh, so we got time right. still. Uh, you, you got about 
700, about a thousand days to decide. Okay. okay. All right. All right. And, and time. Nothing but, but time. Um, but you got this. Many are calling this the greatest WrestleMania ever, right? And and I agree. What a spectacle. What a fantastic WrestleMania. But that's because of the talent that actually put the time in. I showed up for 90 seconds. This is the greatest WrestleMania with or without my involvement. Yeah, and that well. is because of the now, the superstars we have now and their contribution, their contribution to the business. It is gonna be time soon for me to go. And I, I'm embracing that and enjoying it and it allows me to be present. Go, 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 go. I, uh, I can say this with the utmost certainty, I will always, always be part of the WWE family, but the time to compete in the ring is coming to a close. No! Yeah. No, we have a thousand days. We have a thousand days. No, we have a thousand days. I'm going to try to do it in less. Okay. okay. Well, whatever the case, you look fantastic Thank last you night. Very much. You said 90 seconds. Average 47 year old, that run out there is taking <laughs> yeah. Yeah. at least four minutes. For sure. 17, 17. what they're saying. I, uh, I do not feel 17 anymore. <laughs> I feel 47. You're looking 22. D-Bot has a question for you, John. Yeah, John, this might be a stupid question because uh, we didn't see you butt-ass naked on the stage in front of the world, but do you still get nervous when you run out for that 90 seconds in the biggest WrestleMania I ever? I don't believe in a, a construct where there are stupid questions. I think there's a there's <laughs> yep. something to be learned behind yep. every question. Yep. Thank you, John. Like that, John. Thank you, John. Uh, I still get nervous for everything. I am nervous right now. <laughs> so I still get nervous. Uh, yesterday was awesome because I had such a small role. I really was able to enjoy it, and I could feel the moment where even beyond myself, my heart rate jumps, and I could be like, "Yo, it's happening right now. It's happening. It's about to happen." And I can feel the nerves. I can feel my muscles tense up. I can feel my heart rate go from like 60 to 110, just standing there watching the TV, knowing like it's almost time. It's almost time. I still get that feeling every single time I get to go out in front of you guys. So thank you very oh, much. Oh, isn't that that's a dragon, right? That everybody's chasing. That all the you know I, I've followed and been a fan of the business for a long time. And every documentary that comes out of somebody that's passed is like, I wish I could go get the same feeling of coming out of that curtain and what it's like. Is that the dragon that everybody's chasing forever? So I, I think and you think you're just going to be able to walk away from that? So because I, anytime we hear... It goes, the place explodes. I mean, that is, it's just absolutely, yeah, exactly. That's going to be tough not to have, right? I need to go to their coffee shop. <laughs> yeah. um, so I think the dragon you talk about, I th this is just me thinking for other people that's wrong. No, no, we're, we're discussing, it's talk show. So I think when they retrospectively are like, man, I just wanted to chase it, they didn't give themselves a chance to be in it. Got it. When I describe it to you last night, like I felt all of it and I was in it and I'm present. And I'm so grateful for the career arc that you all have awarded me because I've been able to do it in sections i was the last pick i was i started out in the warm-up matches i was everybody's go-through opponent i worked my way up to try to get some some merit i changed my character i changed my look then i couldn't lose and then if cena loses we riot and then it became very polarizing and then i became superman and now i've been around so long and i'm such a part-time contributor that i do get to be present and i do get to enjoy it so i'm being weaned off the dragon mm. and that is beautiful for me because I can look around and take in all these moments rather than be on that lightning fast treadmill of Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Those moments I get to show up, I really get to look around and love it and breathe it in. Happy to hear that. So I'm being yeah. like weaned off the dragon. Yeah, but I'm happy to hear that you're taking it in and enjoying it because in a lot of professions, and if all professional this is, sports. This is philosophy today on the Pat McAfee Show, man. Hey, we're getting deep. Every day, we're getting John. Deep. Yeah, yeah. Every day. Speaking of, here's like one of your biggest fans. Yeah, Todd. John. I mean, I agree with, you know, like the talent in the ring last night was part of the reason why this was the best re WrestleMania ever. But me personally, uh, I've been in a WWE commercial in full John Cena regalia, you know, marking Appreciate out you. at 30 years old. Last I can say night. the same. I've done the same thing. Yeah, last yeah. night at 34 when your music, I mean, I'm acting like I'm I'm 13 years old. So like it, we need you. We need you around. But I am curious in terms of chasing the dragon. 
we, Pat and I have talked about this a bunch. Like, do you find that kind of same feeling, I guess, now with acting? Because, like, no bullshit, you have incredible acting chops. I said it right after Ricky Snicky came out. I was like, John Cena's going to win an Oscar someday. He legit is. And I, I'm curious, when you first got in, if people kind of dismissed you or looked the other way because of your WWE background. But, like, how is that whole process? I mean, you're a you're a megastar in, in the acting world now as well. Uh, appreciate everything you said. I think it's just a matter of, of finding your stride. Um, one of these days, it, it might have to come at like a Hall of Fame or something, but I, I want to be able to thank the WWE Universe for getting me ready for life. Um, and the skills that I learned performing in front of a live audience that is very vocal about how they feel when something is good or when something is not, gives you immediate feedback, it gives you timing, it allows you to focus on storytelling. If I'm not entertaining, you SOBs are gonna tell me I'm not entertaining. Yep. So I better sharpen my skills real quick and be entertaining. If uh, I stumble, if I pause, if I'm not on my best on oh, Monday or Friday, the sound, yeah. oh my goodness, yeah. you guys let me know. You guys have prepared me to take the skill set that I've learned in WWE and, and put it forth in movies, and in life. And before when I did movies, I just wanted to be back in the ring. I was a young 20 something year old, invincible WWE champion that wanted to be in front of this audience. Now I understand that my, my body can only do that in select times, but I have all these skills that you've given me and I wanna be able to use those skills in the frame that I have. And on movies and in television is the best way to do, the, do that and I've, I, really compare what's going on in my life right now to like 2006. People in WWE, nobody thought I'd ever be anything. I almost got fired. They didn't think the rap persona would work. One at a time, jump hurdle, jump hurdle, jump hurdle. So I don't mind that everyone typecasts me as like, yo, you, you do this and only this. I'm sure you had some hurdles to climb, I'd say. being a, an NFL <laughs> kicker. Uh, and, swearer, a uh, guy who has a public intoxication arrest, uh, from Indianapolis, punter, what? Yes. kind of a doofus. That, this is everybody's journey in life. I'm just so grateful to the skills that you guys have allowed me to develop because, man, do I have an awesome toolkit, and now maybe I can do something else or something else, or I don't know. Okay, so Maybe I can be on the Pat McAfee panel. Who knows? Ooh, yeah. Who knows? Right now, doing great right now. Saving me, pal. Yeah, uh, yeah. saving all of us right now. <laughs> um, he was talking about the Ricky Stanicki character, I think, more specifically. Because in there, there's a lot of Stanicki, big stars. Stanicki. Stanicki. If you're going to do a chant, help me with some promo. Thank you to the people at Amazon. Thank you. Yeah, let's get another one. Yeah. Yeah, let's get a follow up to that. Hero of the week. <laughs> I mean, phenomenal work in there, Ricky Stanicki. But like your acting chops, you were this clear star of said program. And, you know, talking about the Hollywood world, and he said uh, earlier, seeing you naked on the Oscars stage, the internet immediately a buzz. This is an embarrassment ritual for John Cena to have him go out there for a costume award, okay, and do this. Has there ever been a time where you've been embarrassed to showcase that that is what your body looks like? <laughs> and, and, and how long have you looked like this? And whenever, are you just the guy that if you like the idea, yeah, I'll do it? Because that does seem like the John Cena Hollywood guy is like, because what was the Peacemaker? Yeah. That was some of the most absurd shit of all time. Season two coming up. Oh, so yeah. entertaining, though. Yeah. It's like, you don't take yourself serious at all, it feels like, in there. You dive right in. I think that's just who you are, and I don't think people are giving you enough credit so, for that type of thing. So I think, uh, I think I do take it seriously, but I take it seriously. Not yourself. Not me looking cool. Because if you try to look cool all the time, you're just chasing a, a perfect view of yourself that doesn't exist. Man, I know I got a bald spot on the back of my head. I flossed, I flossed it last night at WrestleMania. Hell yeah. yeah. Hair looks good though. Me, you, and like seven out of 10 dudes have them. So I don't <laughs> care. I'm not perfect. That's not me. So I think instead of trying to craft every situation to how can I look the strongest or the best, I look at every situ situation of how can we make this the best situation. Ooh. When we go over the Oscar bit and they're like, ah, oh, do you want to wear Spanx or spandex or a Speedo? No, make me as naked as possible so Disney says it's too naked. <laughs> that's how we no, go I was told it. somebody told you that. Yeah, I, I, know, I didn't know you were a part that's of that. The, uh, that's the funny bit. That's the, that's the gag. That's why everyone's entertained. Yeah. And I think... 
that's what leads to polarizing opinions and that's what leads to interest and people can have that stuff and say like oh this is this but it, it is what it is. It's for your entertainment to decide what you want. Your cheeks on the Oscars were awesome. Yeah. As we are back on ESPN for hour two, John Cena still joining us here live from the WWE yeah. world. Con man's got a question for you. Yeah, John, so making the best out of the situation for Cody Rhodes now going forward. Like when you get your championship, you know, obviously for Cody in this situation, he's following a guy that is known as the GOAT. Like how does he go forward and not try and replicate anything of the past and do his own thing? Like was that hard for you when you got yours to not kind of? Uh, so sure was, and I think it was hard for Roman too. Um, and certainly hard for Shawn Michaels or Stone Cold Steve Austin or right. Right. All, all of those guys had enormous shoes to fill and the way that they've connected with the audience is <laughs> we're, we'll get some good audience participation here right. is by reflecting on history right. but ultimately coming to the conclusion right. That they should be themselves. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. Hey, that was the most sophisticated usage of the what's, I do believe, yeah. which is why you're John Cena. Um, so you just said, obviously, thousand days or whatever uh, until you're 50. That's where you drew the line in the sand. You said you're not done. We'll see you again. You're here on Monday after WrestleMania. Yep. What is your schedule right now? Are we making movies? Are we doing? What do we have going on right so, now? So uh, well? I was. I was grateful enough that uh, Honda kind of bumped a commitment I had to be able to do WrestleMania. So I'll go from here to do something with Honda. Hey, are they making flying cars? Is that what you alluded to They're in the working last on voiceover? It. They're working on it, dude. I was watching that commercial. I hear John Cena's voice. They're and then all of a sudden, I see some jets and stuff. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, is that a, that's awesome. <laughs> They're working on some pretty cool stuff. So I'm going to, straight to that. Uh, I have a cool um, keynote appearance with Samsung in Las Vegas. Their theme of the convention is time is now so they called on yours truly to speak there i'm very grateful for like that. that your time is up <laughs> my, my time, time is now, now. yeah absolutely. Uh, i have some more branding stuff to do before i leave for europe to finish a movie that we started filming before the strike called heads of state with priyanka chopra and idris elba Ooh, and then yeah. straight from that to peacemaker season two yeah. oh. That'll, uh, that'll take us through just about christmas and i'm crossing my fingers and toes and my heart that maybe, maybe, just maybe, I can take the, I can tell the Hollywood world to pump the brakes for a while and come back to my family for one last run. Let's go. Oh my God. I hope, I don't know, I hope, I'm trying, I hope we'll see what happens. We'd be honored to watch that and witness that, and obviously everybody here would be excited to see one last run from old John Cena. Well, every time we see you do something, we think it's incredibly cool. We're pumped for you. Wrestling guy taking over the world. So you gotta go chase that at some yeah. point. World champion! Those those shots gotta be earned, man. I don't know if you've looked at my, my record for the past three years, but it's not exactly stellar. I need a slump buster first. I need I need a slump buster. Okay, we'll send you miss. Yeah, call <laughs> on. Ladies and gentlemen, the GOAT! John Cena! the definition of over, truly. Forever. Yeah. yeah. What was he talking about all that? We gotta let the music play while he's out here. Yeah, we got to. Picks up John Cena quiet. You! 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 Good spot there at the end. Hey, you signed this one thing. You do ten more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Quick on the way out. Thank you, John. Thanks for having John. Yeah. Let's go.